Hey cool crafters! Do you have a favorite craft project or technique that is very nostalgic for you? Well for me it's embroidery. I have a fun story to share with you at the end of this video. My friends at Indigo Junction brought back all of my wonderful memories about embroidery with this new book called Stitch Style. Now this is by Amy Berrickman and it's filled with great ideas for beginner and advanced embroiderers. Let's get started. In the Stitch Style book, there are 20 projects and 65 embroidery designs that you can trace or iron on transfer. The embroidery designs are bandana inspired, so you can use them anywhere that you need just a little stitch style. I love the idea of refreshing an old garment or embellishing a ready-made piece. You can even make something brand new and original with the Crossroads Denim. The Indigo Junction Crossroads Denim is 54 inches. It's 100% cotton denim weight and it comes in 14 great colors. For my projects, I just wanted the torn edge. So you give a little snip in your denim and just tear. For my embroidery bracelets, I decided to use several stitches from these 16 different stitch patterns. There are some great selections of embroidery floss available at your local craft store. I bought this assortment that included a lot of different colors so that I didn't have to pick and choose individual skeins. Since it's been a while since I've done embroidery, I decided to start with what I remember to be one of the easiest stitches, which is the chain stitch. So you come up from behind the fabric, you catch your first loop, and that is your first chain. You can see how easy this goes, and of course, if you remember doing embroidery from perhaps you learned when you were younger, you're going to pick this back up so easily. And if embroidery is new to you, you'll really love the illustrations that are done in this book. So for my first bracelet, what I did is I just teamed up several colors and I created three rows of chain stitches to create this pattern. The next project that I stitched up were the uh, Lazy Daisies. And I still need a little bit of practice getting these all this exact same size, but that really doesn't matter. I added a few French knots. What I did is all three of these bracelets in the same color combination so that I can wear them all together so that all of the colors coordinate. When you're finished with your embroidered piece, you're going to want to attach it to an another piece of denim to give it added stability and strength. You can stitch it together. You can use your peel and stick sheets to join the two pieces together. Another really great look is a cuff bracelet. So you can tear your denim into a wider strip using my peel and stick tape. I'm putting my embroidered piece right down the center and then you can create a wider cuff bracelet. I love my new bracelets. They're so cool. I find that embroidery is very meditative. I just love it. Oh, and here's my quick little story for you. When I was a young teenager, my mom signed me up for embroidery classes. I think it was a series of six classes over about six weeks, and she decided to join me. Now that was really unusual. Here's the queen of crafts who's really busy with her own business who took time with me to go to six weeks of classes to learn how to embroider. So really wonderful, nostalgic memories for me come back anytime I pick up a needle and embroidery floss. My thanks to Indigo Junction for letting me share their new book with you today, Stitch Style by Amy Berrickman. I really think you're going to enjoy all of the project inspiration and the embroidery designs that you can trace on or you can iron on transfer. I'm Tiffany Windsor, and I think it's cool to craft. <laughs>